डॉक्टर राधा मैम गुड इवनिंग मैम हाँ गुड इवनिंग सर यस मैम गुड इवनिंग माई सेल्फ बी राम मैम एक्चुअली फ्रॉम दी कोर्ट टीम Uh, okay. Yes. So, do we can begin the session now, ma'am? Yes, 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 sir. Yes. After my formal welcome to all, like I'll okay. start with you, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Welcome, one and all, uh, to the you know three hundred and twenty eighth session. Uh, we are at like uh, the behalf of the uh, Department of Psychology, the American College in Madurai, as well Madras School of Social Work, Chennai, and uh, MS Chalamuthi Institute of Mental Health and uh, Rehabilitation Center, Madurai, Advanced Education and Psychological Research Center, Madurai. as well psycho oncological association turkey uh, so welcome you all uh, to this uh, mental health webinar series to the participants here participant as well today speaker dr radha balachander who is from uh, chennai or director of uh, kids care rehab center um, so to have a wonderful session i you know uh, request dr radha ma'am to proceed further thank you one and all uh whether can i start starting yes. this I, uh, yes, ma'am. Please, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, good evening, everyone. Ah, uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, anger management strategy for uh, kids. Ah, uh, I think ah uh, you will be attending so many anger management ah uh, techniques like how you can control your anger, whether anger is a good emotion or bad emotion, like that. you will be attending lot of webinars and you may be also a counseling psychologist or a, uh, any therapist so you know how to handle the emotions but today i like to be specify that i will be discuss more on kids anger so as many parents may be attending over this section so i think uh, satish sir is also joined i welcome and then uh, here i will like to address about kids anger that is very essential nowadays as uh, you know kids today's kids is our tomorrow's uh, uh, education or tomorrow's uh, generation so how we have to empower our kid is very very essential for that we have to know how to handle the kids anger that is more and more vital part so now i will start share my screen yeah one minute okay whether whether the screen is visible uh sir whether the screen is visible uh yes ma'am yes sir ah okay 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 so and uh, first let me start with the quote do not teach your children never to be angry teach them how to be angry that is very very essential and very important as many of you as known is anger is a uh, as usual here uh, it's a natural emotion it's a feeling like a happiness sad like that anger is also a feeling sometimes it is very good also so sometimes when we get angry we have to do achieve in our life so for that angry we can sometime it may be good but feeling the anger and managing the anger in the positive and the healthy way can also give you a chance to set an example for the children so before we have to go to the children's anger management technique and all parent as to be many parents will be attending the section parent has to know how to handle their own anger it is also very essential and then for example if parent whenever parents get angry okay be, okay okay son i'm getting angry so get away from me if you tell like that the same son will be repeat the same sentence when he is in the teenage if you said okay bed okay son i am i am very angry i am really upset i have some work pressure or i have some relationship issue with your mom it will be anything else okay see what i do i take a deep breath i will just walk away and then i just you just look how i behave 
that is also very important for kids before going to the kids anger management parenting anger management is very essential so it is okay to feel angry it's not just okay to help or hurt someone that is very much important because we can be feeling angry because we we can control ourselves we cannot control what's happening around us we cannot control anyone else but whatever other person may uh, may say or bully or criticism we may affect we may affect and we will be get angry and then we don't know sometimes we don't know how to react so same thing kid for same thing the situations may be applied to the kids also so anger can be the negative especially when kids do lot of its it is out of control and the children needs to be feel safe and secure to grow and develop and being around of lot of conflict and yelling is not good for them but anger became a problem if a child's angry behavior becomes out of control or aggressive yes when the parent don't know how to handle the kids anger that is very important because uh, if you don't know how to handle the kids then that time you have to be no one uh, you have to be no how to handle so your child mental health is more important than the academic Uh, right now because there uh, there will be many parents they will be bringing the kids to me and then they will tell academically the kids are not performing so they will be the parent will be somewhat uh, keep on angry with the child the child is not studying very well but the same angry the child may have to himself also even the child's feeling even the child may also feel that okay i'm not able to good enough with my friends what i can do but still i am getting angry on me but at the same time my parents is also getting angry on me what i can do so they will be in the confused emotional state okay okay so before we goes to uh, management technique kids anger what the picture represent what the picture represent parental anger influence the kids parental anger influence the kid when both the parents show the angry uh, anger to the child the child don't know how to react so that is very very essential so this picture when both the parents shouting at yelling at the kid kid go to the school and the same kid go to the school how the kid will be responding whether the kid will be responding like uh, yeah, like he just, the kid may be go okay my today my parents are shouting at me so i have to be keep calm okay uh, i'm so upset sometimes the kid may be show the displacement of anger the kid may be show the anger to the other kid so it may also be happen so there is a lot of research the one of the research is when anger hurts your child the author found out the following points when children of angry parents are more aggressive when parents are shown lot of angry and when they are genetically anger person kid may also have a more aggressive and children of angry person may have overall uh poor overall adjustment they will have or there is a strong relationship between the parental anger and the delinquency and the effect of parental anger can continue to impact the adult life including the degree of uh, depression and uh, spouse and abuse career economic achievement so when parent monitor and handle the kids anger in the positive way then they can when they come to the adult they can overall know how to handle any situation in the stressful if any st stressful situation they know how to handle the uh, with positive note so when we goes to the when we goes to the anger in children developmental stage 
first is very important so each developmental stage has a different type of anger pattern so first is developmental age at what age whether they are at infant or in toddler what happens with how the anger patterns are next is kid temperament how could the behavior be explained or in thought of your kid of approaching the world for an example very intense sensitive kid may feel overwhelmed in setting where there is a lot of stimulation such as a free play time at their child's care so when understanding anger in children when children continue to have a regular emotional so the first steps is to understand what's the triggering your child's behavior so the anger can be also a genetic so many parents they told that they also oh, their parents will be they also show lot of anger so anger may be in the genetic so it can be in the dna so that's what it will be pattern like a father anger will be followed to the son grandfather father son it may be grandmother uh, granddaughter like that so the anger pattern will be there in the uh, family and other genetical uh, biological factors are thought to play an important role in anger and aggression environment environment is a contributor as well as a trauma family dysfunction family dysfunction a certain parenting style such as harsh inconsistent punishment also make more likely that your child will exhibit a anger or aggression that interfered with his or her daily life okay now next one okay what the research what the research say is uh, is the end child responding with the the favorable toy may help to identify whether they may be risk for later problem uh, so uh, tantrum often uh, tantrum often uh, uh, happen when kids are trying to get something what they want or not meltdown may occur when kids feels overwhelmed by the feelings and surroundings so let child knows these behavior are common and improved so you will be notice that many kids even uh, uh, even your kid will be at 3 years to 2 to 3 years they will be if they want chocolate they will be just lie down and then they will be cry hell that they want the chocolate immediately so all these from that time itself the anger pattern develops so parent has to be know that how to handle if the child wants something whether whether it is essential for the child whether it will benefit for the child or whether uh, when you buy something immediately for the child whether it's affect the child's behavior pattern emotions that matters a lot many parents they told me that we have only a one child and we we did not have anything when we are at the kid so as we grow up only we earn so whatever we earn it's for the kid so they give lot and lot of pampered they will be have lot pampered the kid what happened the pampered the kid the child will be more anger and then they don't know oh, how to uh, how to give the positive anger management so that's what happens so immediately i i see many kids they will be just rolling in the shopping mall for the chocolate for the toy or it can be anything they will be keep on rolling so immediately what the parent will be do immediately they will buy the chocolate here what happens uh, immediately when you buy the chocolate so the first anger uh, also emotion is crying for the child if any infants uh, they if they want something in their life immediately they will start crying with the loud noise like that so parent will buy whatever the child ask so uh, that is a way you are teaching the child okay if i cry parent will buy this that is a pattern every each and every time the child will cry parent will buy 
uh, but your parent has to be notice what's the parent mistake is parent is just noticing around okay it's in the shopping complex what other pa- what other people will be thinking about myself and the child my child so they will be thinking about something bad about my style so immediately they will buy whatever the child need that is, that is it's totally wrong so parent has to tell the child no i already brought a chocolate for you and then i will and emotion slowly the child knows that okay if i cry also they won't buy if it is essential only the parent will buy that is very much important for the anger management so here tantrum and meltdown that is uh, usually they will be telling that uh, tantrum meltdown uh, in autism or in adhd like that usually they will be tried so what is tantrum what is meltdown tantrum is nothing but an angry but meltdown is a reaction of feeling overwhelmed in tantrum child might hell cry lash out and hold his breath i see many kids many kids they will be hold the breath for even a one minute even a one minute they will be so immediately the parent will be think okay something will happen to the child so they will just pacify the child and then they will bring out okay if the child don't like it they will be just okay the child don't like it so don't force the child that's what they will be usually do but in meltdown uh in meltdown what happens is your child uh, one and run away i get lot of okay the child might yell cry lash out run away or shut down and withdraw the child will withdraw and in tantrum the child typically has some behavior as some control over his behavior during the tantrum so child can able to control the own behavior in meltdown the child is don't know how to control it's out of control uh, in tantrum uh, behavior tends to stop when child get whatever want like a shopping mall incident uh the in the meltdown the behavior tends to stop when child wears himself out or when there is a change in the amount of sensory input he is ex- experiencing okay we just know that okay uh, uh we, we you know that uh, toddler they will be uh, having lot of tantrums meltdown like that but what happens to the infants anger pattern starts from infant itself there is a lot of research is uh, it's there for infant anger management uh, so what is it is uh, there is a one recent study where infant as a young as 2 months as 2 months old baby can show anger through temper tantrum often become more common as a child enters the terrible to so fr- two years it will be terrible but two months itself you can know whether the child you can know the child will show the anger the new research study published in journal developmental psychology explained anger issues in infants and but later problem from developing so in that research what happens is infant as young as 6 months can differ from greatly in the terms of how much anger they can show in the certain situation the signs of excessive anger in infants as well as the early childhood stress can predict problems that can develop years for uh, afterwards so the parents even even it uh, even parents will be noticed that around uh, uh, preschool or in uh, schooling only parent will be noticed okay the child is so my the child has some angry issue and all but even in the infant we can able to uh, identify whether uh, there is some anger issues or not okay now we go to the toddler okay the toddler uh usually tend to respond to anger and it will be mainly a tantrum 
So in the recent research study state that children younger than four years old have average nine tantrums every weekly basis. So nine tantrums. So whatever they want immediately, even for the food, they will be show some tantrum for milk, for water, for the toy, for a bath, for sleep. The, any physical, uh, physically need, they will be show the tantrum. By tantrum only, they will show whatever they want. Most children will grow out of this outburst anger by the time they enter the kindergarten but usually what and all the anger pattern what and all the parents will be noticed in the toddler where the age around one or two years old mainly the tantrums are crying screaming biting kicking stamping pulling hitting throwing toys so you you will be noticed many kids they will be throw the things so if they don't want, they just throw. If they want something immediately, they will be cry, kick, stamp, and then they will do it. So generally, toddler will outgrow these anger outbursts as the developmental skills process. Teaching them appropriate strategy to manage their emotions can be also helped. So when should we consider? If the if in the toddler time when we have to be parent has to be concerned, mainly if the toddler has multiple anger outbursts every day and regularly last for a very lengthy stretch of time, despite amount of manage the behavior. So the parent don't know how to manage the behavior, child behavior, and uh, whether they are injured themselves or others during the tantrum. Now uh, we see uh, infant that is baby and then toddler, now kids. Most children will learn to control their temper as they go older and more experience in using in coping up strategies. Uh, the child's anger issue can be a serious uh, uh, enough to want out outside help in case what up in case their behavior is putting them. work if anger anger is affecting the school work or the teacher and struggling to control them if the anger is affecting the friendships for example other children don't play with them their anger is having a negative impact on family life they are upset stressed and anxious about the behavior so next uh, important thing is what and all the uh, causes for uh, uh, anger. What and all the causes for anger? Mainly, it can be the anxiety. So many kids they may be angering the anxiety. The children who seem angry often have a severe unrecognized anxiety. If the child has anxiety, especially if she hiding it, she may have a hard time coping with situation that causes a distress so in an anxiety inducing situation the child's flight or fright instant may be hold she may have a tantrum or refuse to do something to avoid the source of acute fear so you may be noticed that uh, preschool or uh, primary school like first standard second standard children if uh, uh, teachers scold them they won't be go to the school so I did recently, uh, uh, like uh, before COVID, uh, one boy, uh, mother called me and then he, she told that uh, the boy is refused to go to the school. Then I asked the uh, parent what happened and all. Yeah, the teacher just told that, uh, uh, okay, uh, you are distracting. Uh, you are uh, distracting the class. You can. That's what uh, she just pinched and asked the child to stand for, stand outside the classroom. So this make the child somewhat upset, anxiety. So child refused to go to the school. So it can be the incident may be a very small incident. Whether the child developed the anxiety and the anger, the parent has to be noticed that.
and another what and all the causes the most important cost is adhd which is attention deficit hyperactivity disorder these children especially who have experiencing impulsivity who don't have their don't have the waiting time they cannot they have difficulty in sitting tolerance they they have difficulty to sit for one minute and then hyperactivity trouble controlling over the behavior so they will have the anger pattern they may find it very hard to comply with the instruction so if we if teachers or your parents give any instruction they are very hard to follow the instruction and switch from one activity to another activity that make them angry more than 50% of child kids with adhd also exhibit defense and emotional outburst and their inability to focus complete task can also lead to tantrums arguing power struggles the another most common cause of angry in uh, in children is learning problem so i see uh, many learning uh, problem that is learning disability it can be a learning disability it can be a dyslexia or a dysgraphia which is writing difficulty or uh, the child uh, may have difficulty to just focus uh, focus in the classroom and uh, not complete the class work on time it can be anything when the child acts out repeatedly in the school and class work homework time when the ang when the learning disorder is undiagnosed a child develop a anger pattern so when child has a terrible uh, a lot of trouble with math uh, math problem which make them to or oh, fluctuated and they will be feel irritable and show the anger to the parents or to the teachers rather than what they will do they won't ask for help so they know that even many anger many learning uh, difficulty children know that uh, they cannot uh, they cannot uh, read very well like their peer group and then uh, they because emotionally they are very strong and only the reading part and only the learning only they have the difficult so for that what they won't ask for the help but uh, they will be just be isolated and then rather than asking for help they just run up the assignment and start something with other child to create a diversion from his real issue so they will just keep on divert from the uh, real issue okay the next one is a sensory processing issues this is also will make the child to be uh, to make child may get anger so the some children have a terrible processing the sensory information they may also getting from world around them if stimulation like itchy cloth or too much light or a noise may make them uncomfortable and distracted over limb by that they will get uh, they will they will show the anger pattern so they can it will be lead to meltdown for no reason that apparent to the caregiver next most important thing is autism kid so they will be often prone to the dramatic meltdowns it can be any form of a spectrum as in the spectrum it can be a ear function autism which is asperger's classic autism or a autistic uh, uh, condition it can be anything uh, it may be uh, tend to read needing consistent routine to feel safe if it is any thing happen if there is any disturbance in the routine they will get anger unexpected changes can set them anger they may also have the sensory issue which may cause him a overwhelmed by the stimulation and they may also lack due to the lack of language and communication skill what they want to express also they will be show it in the behavior pattern uh, it can be any behavior pattern so by that they will be show the anger so usually what happens in the autism kid is whatever they feel they cannot express so today morning also one boy uh, they one boy from madurai i did a online consultation for that boy also he is very the parent told that he is getting very angry 
but they don't know what's the reason but if the child get any angry pattern if the any behavioral issue there will be definitely the reason but the child don't know how to express so it is not the basic uh, uh, emotions like happy sad like that and all the child may able to uh, recognize and may uh, tell or maybe in the uh, non verbal child that also will be difficult even the small thing even when we have some headache when we have some headache we will be tell to our family members that i have a headache so don't disturb me i feel somewhat annoyed so like this type of emotions and all the artistic child have difficulty to express uh, uh, for that uh, autism child show lot and lot of behavior issue okay next one is odd which is a pattern of angry and irritable mood augmentative uh, uh, and then different behavior and then for last 6 months so there will be a repetitive anger pattern and mood and then that will be odd and then your contact disorder may be a, uh, there will be a pattern of behavior that violent the right of others such as bullying uh now can you hear me uh sir can you hear me sir i just caught you uh sir can you hear me yes yes okay yes, okay i just got the thing they cannot hear me okay so i can go home okay so next one is uh okay so everyone can hear me i think some of them they just miss it okay thank you thank you so much thank you satish okay the contact disorder so i like to share you one case study that uh, there is one boy who is um, i is just uh, uh, studying uh, the time he came for the therapy he just studied uh, the at uh, second standard uh, the second standard boy he as i adhd which is an hyperactive and contact disorder so this boy is very talkative and he cannot control his emotion pattern what happens is uh, he wants to have some harsh behavior so the mother both the parents are advocate and uh, whenever the driver brings him for the therapy section each day he just when the driver uh, drive the uh, car means immediately he just he just distract the driver and he just drive if the car so like that lot and lot of behavior pattern even the school referred the boy because the boy uh, have some behavior issue uh with the girls and a lot of behavioral issue so the and then the boy use very colloquial language like that and then even even the boy usually tells me me that uh, she knows uh, the boy always told me i still remember the boy always told me that uh, no you know i am uh, i know minister i know the government uh, no one can do anything even the boy knows that if he did some mistake you know the consequences even i asked him okay you are suddenly distracting your driver to drive the car if some accident is happened what happened the boy immediately told that yes yes if accident is happened something happened to the other person uh, and then i may be go to the Uh, hospital or my driver or any other person but that and all my parents will manage even they will be put me in the jail my parents know how to bring out from the jail, jail and all so like that is a contact behavior where the child knows the consequences also but still the child child need some pattern of behavior such as bullying stealing it can be any pattern of behavior child needs that back pattern of behavior for the pleasure so for that the for that the child need adequate therapy program so that is is a contact disorder next one is dispretive mood dysregulation disorder this is a frequent anger outburst and irritable or depressed mode most of the time 
and uh, uh, it's and now teens teens for anger is a normal uh, part of adolescence and can be a healthy emotional response to outside stressor so usually uh, adolescent when at that time only parent notice the child show lot of anger that adolescent shows lot and lot of anger so the behavior of uh, the behavior of uh, teens with anger uh, and defense uh, issues can exhibit extend further behind the typical disrespectful behavior such as eye rolling and then you will be seeing many adolescent uh, uh, students they will be just stand the door uh, argument with uh, teens and then parents so anger is a secondary emotion for teens as if often mask the other underlying issues like that sadness hurt fear and shame so they cannot express the uh, sadness fear shame so they will show the anger when these underlying emotion become too much the teen will often respond by lashing most teen will lash out from time to time so i seen lot and a uh, lot of adolescent student for uh, counseling so i like to share you one important thing is uh, there is a speed test uh, in uh, near to the central uh, near to the central in chennai the speed test refer lot of adolescent students so what they will be telling is they are providing the they are providing the school fees for the adolescent students and then the uh, tuition for the adolescent student but still whether can you hear me i just got uh, yes uh, ma'am absolutely audible no issues oh okay oh thanks uh even uh, the street speed trust that uh, they told me that they provide everything even uh, food uh, tuition uh, everything for the street student uh, uh, but still the student goes to even the third, even eighth standard uh, to eighth standard student they is so much on uh, drug uh, influence is there and then uh, alcohol influence stealing is there uh, even they uh, for that they will be giving counseling so for that it will be more and more challenging but still these children uh, why they are doing it so i as even one uh, adolescent boy who that parent brought him because that boy what he did is he is not even 18 year old but within uh, 17 or 6, uh, 17 year old boy he just had a drug he just had a full drug influence and alcohol with his friend and then he met with an accident but he don't have any issues he is almost uh, almost okay but his friend passed away after the friend passed away only he felt guilty and then he don't know how to face the world so like that and then he that boy told me that there is a lot of areas in chennai where it will be happening so he told that even at 8 year 8 uh, standard boy is also influencing lot of a uh, lot of due to the anger due to cancel both the parents will be going to the work so like that uh, like that they will be going to some because the anger pattern when parents uh, recognize the anger pattern when we, when they give a correct uh, uh, training program for that otherwise the child life path may be go wrong so as a adolescent period it is very essential uh, okay what and all the trigger point for uh, severe anger in teens low self esteem i see lot of kids who is having who, who don't uh, get marks who is a uh, learning disability children they will be low self esteem and then usually learning disability children they may be victim of bullying unhealthy peer pressure even some child who is not clarity in the voice they will also undergo lot of uh, peer pressure the child uh, the adolescent who is so sensitive and then shy 
in a way uh, and then the they will be going to the bullying system so conflict within the family traumatic uh, event death of a loved one adoption issues substance abuse divorce in the family abuse grief and what and all the warning sign what and all the warning sign uh, which is out of control out of control is a physical aggression or violence so till now parents will be beating the child i seen lot of parents they will be beat the child and then they will be very yelling at the child at this when the child will be listen up to eighth standard so after that the child will show that turn uh, i like to address one more son who is 11th standard boy uh, that boy is very good in academic but suddenly due to some peer pressure the boy is very much uh, uh, interested in uh, watching movies and going out with a friend so this boy what he did he started stealing money from the mother's uh, purse mother's uh, uh, purse or uh, and uh, from he started stealing and when once the mother find it out that the, the boy is stealing the money from the outs itself then the mother did not allow the boy to go out so the boy the mother keep on monitoring the boy that what happens is then the boy totally more aggressive he is just close the door he won't go to school whenever he wants to go to school at the time only he goes to the school and he will be in the dark room only the ma both the parents are very very uh, afraid of the son the afraid of this and even the mother be uh, the totally opposite the mother even for the food also even for uh, any lunch or dinner the mother very afraid to the boy even at the time only the boy shouted at the mother so it is happened every day so the parent don't know how to handle the child so this is and all happen so the how we regulate the Uh, adolescent anger or any emotion is very important excessive arguing with the parents siblings teachers or prior regular emotional outbursts such may including uh, yelling screaming irrational thinking and behavior bullying verbal threat so uh, that will be happen many many adolescent uh, student they will just tell that uh, they want to commit suicide or they want to end their life like that it will be a verbal threat and a cruel behavior to the people or animals criminal activities destroying properties self harm so finally what and all the 10 reasons uh, when we get uh, children will get angry is when they get tired angry and when they feel powerless disconnected hurted and when they feel anxious all this make the children to get angry so how we can overcome the uh, kids anger pattern so it is dealing with the anger is very important to ensure the fam healthy family and uh, beside less stress child feel more safe feel more safe and have higher self esteem there will be also more important and energy to enjoy the family time uh, and most important to teach in healthy not in hateful way and it is very easier to deal with the children's anger if they get rid of of this notification our goal is not to suppress or destroy angry feeling in children or in ourselves but rather to accept the emotion the parent has to acknowledge the emotion if the child is sad or upset or angered the parent has to accept the emotion and the child has to accept the emotion and to constructive end so what and all the method all methods for uh, uh, methods for anger management is cognitive behavioral method this approach that helps the child to acquire new and more effective strategy for regulating angry emotions thoughts and behavior and emotion regulation which is also uh, help the child to learn to identify anger triggers and preventive strategy 
learning alternative way to express and address a, uh, address the anger will help the child and parent to weigh the consequences developing a new communication strategy wise a role play help to prevent and resolve anger provoking situations and the most important thing is conflict resolution so uh, eight years before only one uh, girl who is a 10 year old girl from us uh, is just she's just came for a vacation the parent asked me eight years before itself uh, the school insists her for the conflict resolution uh, training program so the mother approached me and uh, that's what the because the girl don't know how to solve the problem that is very important what the kids usually do if the kid uh, have some issue with the friends immediately they will be tell to the parents mommy this boy hit me so immediately mommy goes with that uh, goes to that boy's mom and then she will tell why did you why did your boy hit my son so that's what the usually the children depend upon the parent so it should not open the from the child itself childhood itself the parent has a responsibility to teach the problem solving technique that is any conflict is that the children uh, may definitely they have to bring it to the parents but still they have to know how to resolve the problem then they can bring it to the uh, parents so each time they should uh, they have to come to the parents teacher so usually what we will be teaching to the kids okay if something happened to if some boy hit you tell to the teacher if some boy uh, someone just pulled your lunch tell to your teacher that's what uh, usually we will be teaching our kids but instead of that okay if the boy took your lunch what you can do just think at the time instead of showing anger pattern what you can do what and all the positive problem solving technique like that you can uh, teach the child conflict resolution so we must teach our children how to resolve the difference with others so that life will be fulfilled and the easiest ways to teach these social skill begins when the child is very young guide the child through resolution with other child this modeling will speak regular uh, louder than uh, other words ever so then is a parent management technique so the parent child interaction therapy that is also you no know, very effective anger management strategy so when the parent and child sit together when parent observe why the child is behaving like that and why what and all the major problem like that itself uh, they can know the meet the outburst by teaching a alternate way to handle misbehavior <laughs> Uh, and the focus is on using the positive reinforcement for the child does at the ra right rather than the punishment and this is very important so the parents and the family they have to think that each child is unique the what to think about so no two children or family or like what kind of situation usually lead your child acting up why your child act in the way that seems aggressive how do you typically react your reaction uh, is very important instead of reaction you can be proactive do you think the reaction is helpful to your child or not so what and all the uh, trigger the first steps to manage in anger is understanding the trigger where the behavior happening home play school mall or it can be any place if it is only happening in one setting sitting only in the school could it be something about the environment with the trigger the behavior if the behavior directed toward one specific person or the group of people if you analyze the trigger you can overcome the child anger pattern so because people are not perfect and relationship or messy we all need to uh, we all need to learn out 
where we can do for anger management technique. So uh, for children, we can show a lot of pictures. It is okay to feel angry at the same time. You should not hurt others. You should not hurt yourself. You should not hurt the properties. So what and all the calm down technique. Immediately we can ask the child to drink water and then they can do some uh, play activity, read and do some exercise, breathing exercise like that they can do. So this is some of the calming strategy where they can do some breathing exercise, count. So all these things, they should not do it at the time of anger. The parent has to practice breathing exercise, counting, calm down technique before anger pattern. So when anger pattern is there in the children, at the time they can ask the child to drink water and do the breathing exercise. So you cannot teach anything when the child is in the anger mode. So for that you have to prepare the child in any stressful situations like that. So like that you can teach your slide disease and all the feeling balcono. So where you have to express, you should not go up to the red. You can be go up to two or three. Like that you can express. And uh, we can teach the child. Up. You can be nervous. You can be bored. Uh, you can and be sad. It can be anything. So like that we can give you a worksheet for the it and then for the problem solving we can ask the child to identify the problem focus the problem at attack the problem not the person so like that we can show to so everything when we when we do lot of in the uh, picture form uh, in the drawing form they will easily able to understand and then they can easily able to react so coping important all the coping up strategy where how when anger is there how they feel all these thing uh, this is and all the anger worksheet and this is a program what uh, I am usually doing is brain to act program in this itself anger management attention concentration memory skill everything in this program I am doing so I'm also doing online consultation for parents and uh, children uh, so one thing if your patients in one moment of anger, you will escape your hundreds of uh, sorrow. So thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity. So any questions you can ask. Ma'am, it is an amazing presentation, ma'am, sir. Uh, Vera, sir, over to you. Vera, sir, are you there? So thank you for this opportunity. I think uh, a lot of my friends like Dr. Shiva and uh, many of them, they joined. Uh, yes, uh, thank you so much. So if I left any name, don't mistaken me. So thank you for Durai Raj and uh, Guna sir from uh, Malaysia is also joined. So thank you so much, sir. And uh, over to you, sir. Thank you so much for this opportunity. And whoever joined the section, I hope it will be very useful. Thank you. Ma'am, actually, uh, uh, recently we had a session on anger management in generic manner, which was the input we received from the participant and presented. But you made and more specific to that kids. The root cause is that kids. When you resolve the problem at the children, and there won't be any problem at later stage and you addressed for the right population i can say the smartness of selecting the topic and mm -hmm. <laughs> so it shows that the way uh, the concentration you must focus on the children and you are working on the children for a uh, for two decades and making many positive changes among the kids and i, I can say now uh, today itself i have received three to four calls from my different uh, uh, friends and they told me that we would like to participate actually uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I can say the number, out number of the more number of participants I can say for today, and uh, and it is because of you that name called uh, Dr. Radha Balachandra. Thank you so much, ma'am, for uh, making wonderful presentation today, and I thank uh, um, um, Vera sir for uh, making it on time because I had some uh, personal engagement. He is a person who started at the earlier. Thank you so much, sir, and I also thank my core team members and all the participants for your support we are uh, having the webinar session since april 14 and every day we are conducting the different topics 
and definitely we'll have few more sessions with uh, Dr. Radha Balachandran in coming weeks. And uh, tomorrow, 6 that you can join with another webinar session. And if you come to know that any good resource person, they can uh, would like to share their experiences in our platform. Please let me know. We will utilize their service and we will pass. Uh, we will, uh, uh, their knowledge will be shared to other members, like through all over. And uh, uh, there is nothing is there. And he shared it enough for everybody. And we made an attempt and we are instrument to uh, uh, make this creating awareness and knowledge on health and well-being. And thank you so much. And we will meet tomorrow. And thank you, ma'am, for that amazing session today. Yes, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, sir. If there is any question, uh, they can ask, I yes, think. Yes, be a participant. If you have any questions, you can unmute yourself. Uh, yes, sir. Ravi, sir. Uh, sir, you yeah. can unmute yourself and then ask a question, sir. Uh, really useful. Uh, many, many benefits. Uh, one question is that... Uh, uh, is uh, uh, diet is involved in this uh, some kind of uh, dietary change will help uh, in controlling the kids anger uh, definitely sir diet is also play a uh, research is going on uh, but uh, still we also know no sir uh, like uh, if you have some spicy food uh, we will be may get some anger and uh, if you have some uh, non veg food like that so it may be there will be some fluctuation but whatever it is even the food it can be environment it can be anything even if you don't have food even mainly kids know uh, if they if they if they feel angry only they will do lot of uh, angry issues their behavioral issues so they will two things they will be usually up to 10 years uh, for sleep and then for the food for sleep and the food if they both had adequate they will be anger pattern will be slowly down but if it is not adequate only usually you will be seen that when you're going for a vacation or anywhere else when uh, when that that time they will be more <laughs> anger to that uh, mom or your parents it can be anything so whatever thing the parent has to give a prior instruction to the child okay we are going out if it is any discomfort you please be managed otherwise you can inform us before like that you can say sir so thank you so much well, thank you ma'am wonderful Ma'am, I have a question. Ah, uh, yes. Who is this? Uh, have, my name is Nisha. Ah, okay, Nisha. Yes, Nisha. Which I'm not able to uh, switch on my camera, ma'am. Okay, no like, issues. I, I have two kids and this anger part is a kind of uh, uh, unavoidable thing has become in my house. So they watch TV, the cartoons, and sometimes... Uh, uh, to be open and honest, I also yell at them and I say sorry to them. But uh, handling between these both has become a kind of everyday panjayat at home. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. I am like, oh my God, and they are like driving me nuts. Okay. So I tell them you should not do this, do that. And you sit and write what made you to angry, become angry like this. They do every day. And the next moment they like, my nah, pen putting it down, pencil putting it they they just get around different kind of topics and the angry part is coming inside okay so mainly uh, it may be a sibling rate yes ma'am yes ma'am you're right you are perfectly oh, right uh, Yes, uh, it, it can be like that but uh, still uh, first thing is our parent behavior pattern that is very much so you said one thing is you will be held at the child and then you will say sorry the same thing the child will also do they will be do something and then they will say sorry mommy i did something wrong so first if you want to change it it is it is for everyone even for me if you want to change any behavior pattern positive behavior reinforcement to a child means first you have to change yourself you have to know how to plan at what time you can give a uh, uh, warm up for your elder one, what time you can give your warm up for the younger one. So how to engage. So uh, one thing I did not include due to the time constraint that uh, mobile phone and anger. That is very, very peak nowadays. Nowadays, kids, even for a six months old baby also, if we uh, pull the mobile phone immediately, the baby will start crying. 
So I, uh, due to the time, because that itself will take more than a uh, room up. Agreed, agreed. TV, uh, that makes the child angry because that's the thing which tell to, tell to the child that, okay, you have the mobile means you have everything in your life. You don't need to do drawing. You no need to do drawing. You no need to do writing. Everything is there. So that pattern has to be changed. I think uh, Suresh sir gives some opportunity. I can talk about uh, more about mobile phone uh, addiction on kids. Sir. Yeah. Definitely, ma'am. So Coming week, it's up directly. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Good evening, ma'am. Yes. Good evening, sir. Uh, I have a question, ma'am. Uh, if a teenager he is uh, he gets too much angry, but does not realize that it is abnormality, and he needs the professional help, then what should be done in this case? Uh, sir, can you repeat the question? At that time, uh, I have yeah, net issues. Yeah. Ma'am, if a teenager is uh, getting too much angry, uh, he is getting mm -hmm. angry very frequently, but he does not accept. Uh, he needs a professional help. How okay. uh, this child should be helped? This teenager should be helped. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, usually teenager, the first thing, if you pinpoint it, so you are uh, first, no need to pinpoint uh, you are very angry, you are like this, uh, you have to change your behavior. If you tell that, it won't be work it out. So you first stop uh, telling, like, stop, uh, tell something to your teenager. Don't give any advice for the moment. And then you just be calm. And then you just act like uh, whenever you get angry, you are very calm, composed, relaxed, polite, gentle. At that time, slowly you can explain to your teen that, uh, okay, I am becoming calm because of this help. So you can also come with me. It, it can be, you can also benefit. So you cannot carry your uh, anger for long time. It will be affect your physical health and mental health. So like that, slowly you can convince him and bring the professional help. Sir. But it will be start with the parents. So don't... Uh, Pinpoint your child that uh, you are just be a patient enough. If one day, if you won't pinpoint your child, immediately your child will ask, something happened to my dad. So what changed my dad? So immediately you will think about yourself. So don't pinpoint anything. Let them do whatever they want one day. Then next day you will see some changes in your child, sir. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. Thank you very much, ma'am. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So thank you for this uh, wonderful opportunity. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. And uh, again, I, I place a uh, uh, um, official vote of thanks here. On behalf of the Department of Psychology, American College, and uh, coordinating institutions like Madras School of Social Work, Chennai, MHLM Institute, Madurai, and Red Pond Education Psychology Research Center, Psychology Association, Turkey. I, I thank you from my bottom of heart for uh, accepting our invitation and sharing your valuable inputs to today's session. And and I also thank that uh, all the participants for your continuous support. Dear participants, I would like to make an announcement that we are having the webinar session every day between 6:30 and 7:30. And you can join the session at any time. And in the same way, we are going to use it and pass the information to your friends. And uh, thank you so much for your support. Thank you, ma'am, for the uh, session. Thank you, sir. Happy bogey. So in this bogey, you destroy your anger. Definitely, there will be a lot of changes in your family. So destroy anger in this bogey. So have a happy Deepa, happy Pongal tomorrow. Yeah, happy Pongal. So thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity, sir. Thank you, ma'am. So thank you, Zavira, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you.